Great. Let's make our way to our mats. Um, so we're going to get a quick little warm up if you were not here. Uh, first full body blast. We'll just take a very quick warm up here. We're going to warm up both sides. So we're going to get down on our bellies first. Extend those arms and legs. Opposing arm and leg are going to come up. We're going to squeeze the glute, squeeze that low back, and back down. The other side, come up, squeezing, holding, and relax. One more time each way. Up and squeeze that low back, squeeze those glutes, and relax. Last time, extend that arm, extend that leg, squeeze it, and relax. We're going to flip that over. We're going to do more or less the same thing. Arms and legs, opposing side, come up, and we're going to squeeze. You're going to push that opposing arm and leg into the ground. And relax. All right, opposite sides up and squeeze. Pull those abs in tight and relax one more time each way. Up and squeeze. Push that down arm and leg into the ground and down. And last time, arm and leg up and squeeze and relax. All right, so today's game plan is we're gonna um, do uh, 20 seconds of work, two exercises, 20 seconds of rest. Okay, we're gonna do three three quick rounds. So we're gonna do the same two exercises for all three rounds. So you don't have to worry about memorizing a lot of different movements. We'll do it all together, okay? Very first two that you need to be aware of are a primal hold. So hands and feet, all right, tucked underneath. Pull those toes under, lift those knees. This is your primal hold. Think about this like a plank position. We're pulling those abs in as tight as possible. Movement number one. Movement number two is we're just gonna break that down to our knees and we're going right into bird dogs, okay? Got a little bit of a warm up with that just now. What we're looking for those bird dogs, pull those abs in nice and tight, all right? Don't let that back arch. 20 seconds of work on each one. It's gonna be virtually zero transition time. So I need you to go right into that movement um, and we'll um, have a rest at the end of that, okay? That makes no sense, just follow along with me. We're gonna get hands and knees, toes tucked under, ready for that prime position. Let's bring those knees up, and we're just gonna work on creating tension through that midsection. So we are just holding right here. It's kind of an extended warm up here. We're gonna to work to pull those abs in nice and tight. We're gonna to try to get very aware of where our body positioning is. Pull those abs in nice and tight. We're gonna break down to those knees. All right, we're going right into those bird dogs. All right, opposite arm and leg, alternating sides here. 20 seconds of work, extending. Really squeeze those glutes, squeeze those abs, reach for the wall, both in the front and the back, and relax. All right, so that's one round down. We got two more rounds of that. Excuse me, I have some good water. All right, so we're going to go right back to that primal hold. All right, the idea here is, again, creating tension. Think about kind of priming those abs. Okay, get those hands and toes ready. And lift and hold, creating tension. This is as, as, as intense as you make it. So really press down into that ground. Get some good tension through those arms, through those shoulders. All right, extend those triceps. All right, making sure those knees are under those hips, holding and down, and right into those bird dogs, round number two. I want you to really focus on keeping control, try not to rock side to side, really try to stay as parallel, as smooth to the ground as possible, alternating here on your own pace, the last two, one, and relax. All right, two rounds down, we got one more, our last one of the warm up here. All right, so looking good on those primal holds. So make sure those, those abdomen stay nice and tight on those bird dogs as well. All right, let's get down to the ground. All fours, tuck those toes under, lift those knees up. We're gonna go for those primal holds last time. Really pushing in, hands pushing in, even those feet pushing into that ground. I want you to really keep those abs as tight as possible. Think about it, this is the hardest crunch you've ever done. Trying to fold the world in half. Between those hands and those feet. We're gonna hold here for two, one, dropping down, right into those bird dogs. Last time, opposite arm and foot. Abs might be feeling some fatigue, but we're gonna work to fight past that. Just lifting arm and leg. Alright. Holding strong. We are almost there, folks. 
extend to one and relax. All right, not too bad, right? Nice and warmed up. So second pair of movements, we're doing sit-ups and Russian twists, okay? Sit-ups, you have an option of feet down or feet wide, all the way down, all the way up. Move number two is our Russian twist. Simple here, good, ready to go. Let's drop it down, you ready in two, one, go up for sit-ups. All the way up, all the way down. Again, a little bit more of that contractile force coming up through these sit-ups. So try and get as many reps as you can in these 20 seconds. Last two, one, leaning back, getting those Russian twist rotations. There it is. All right, trying to get that chest all the way from one side of the room to the other. Getting a little bit of that oblique action in here for two, one, and rest. All right, one round down, two rounds coming up. So again, we're taking it from that kind of stationary isometric hole from that primal and putting in some of that contractile movement, more dynamic, um, those sit-ups, all right? We're getting ready for round two of the sit-ups in two, one, go. All the way up, all the way down. Looking for those shoulders to pass those hips on the up and to touch the ground on the down, okay? 20 seconds, you are in control. Want to see how many you can get. Just working to get those abs as much work as possible. Next one, leaning back, a Russian twist, 20 seconds. We are fast paced, right on top of the tape, squeezing as much work as we can in these quick 15 minutes. And then rotate that chest side to side, all right? Don't just move those arms, all right? Let's get that whole chest over in a two, one, and relax. All right. Feeling good, a little dizzy. You can keep that ahead straight away if, if you need to on those twists. All right, round number three of those sit-ups. Last time, keep those abs really doing the majority of the work. Two, one, let's do it. All the way up, all the way down. Last time on these sit-ups, stay focused, stay in control. Make sure that we are easing ourselves down onto the mat, don't just slam your back down, All right? Last three, two, one, right into those twists. Last time, we're gonna bring this tempo up. This is our last time for twists. We're gonna change movements here right after this, so we wanna get the best we can. Again, getting a little dizzy and keep that head straight away, but those shoulders will still rotate for three, two, one, and relax. All right, that feels good, right? Next two movements on our backs. We're doing reverse crunches and penguins. All right, so we're gonna keep um, those knees at 90 degrees. We're gonna touch those toes down. We're gonna bring those hips, or bring those knees to the chest, okay? Uh, next movement after that are gonna be the penguins. So we're gonna keep those feet right on the ground. And we're gonna reach from heel to heel, okay? Back and forth. So again, a little upper abs, a little oblique action, okay? Ready for those reverse crunches? Let's do it in two, one, and go. So 20 seconds, when we are reaching to get those knees to the chest, those hips should come up off the ground, all right? That is us tucking that, um, <clears throat> tucking that pelvis in to actually get those abs to be doing the work. Last two, one, feet down. Right into those penguins, heel touches, whatever you want to call them. Just make sure that we are getting physical contact with that heel, okay? The closer your heel is, the easier that reaches. Farther away, the more we have to put in that work. So get that far enough away where you're getting that effort in. Last two, one, and rest. All right, hang on the ground if you'd like to, or sit it on up. We're going to go right back into those reverse crunches. All right, make sure those knees stay at 90, okay? If you cheat it and kind of pull it in tight, we're not doing a whole lot of work. So make sure those knees stay at 90 degrees, all right? Getting ready in two, one, reverse crunches, pulling it up, there it is. All right, round number two, getting those abs in. Let's do it. Last seven here. 
seconds, not reps, unless you've got it. Last two. One, feet down, penguins. Make sure we get that reach, get those obliques in. Feel free to waddle as much as possible. Come on, folks, 10 seconds. Get those abs. Let's do it. Let's do the last five, last three, two, one, and rest. All right. We got one final round here, folks. We're looking good, looking good. We're gonna get those reverse sit-ups one last time. Those penguins one last time. Let's get it up. And three, two, one, let's go. Last time on these two movements, right? Be honest, open those hips, close those hips. Each rep, get as much motion through those hips as possible. Keep that low back thrust into the ground. That's gonna be the effort. Last two, one, feet down into penguins. Let's do it, come on. Moving those feet, or moving those hands to those feet. Staying strong here, come on. Right there with me, last five. Let's move and get those obliques, two, one, and relax. All right, take a quick breather. We've got one more pair of movements here. We're gonna go into a plank position, okay? First movement is gonna be alternating hip drops. So in that plank position, we're gonna drop one hip to the mat. We're gonna rotate over, press the other hip to the same location on that mat, okay? Think about that as a, just a very light tap to the ground, okay? You're just kissing the ground with that hip. All right, don't drop your weight all the way down. Secondary movement is going to be alternating Superman. So arms and legs extended, just like we did in that warm up, alternating up and down, all right? So a little bit of a low back glute movement to round out the core, all right? Remember, this is not your core, all the way around here is the core, okay? Center of your body all the way through. Alternating hip drops, alternating Superman's, getting ready in three, two, one, let's do it. Dropping that hip down, be in control. Make sure we have good tension through that upper back. All right, really pressing down into those elbows, through those forearms. Get as much motion through those hips as possible for three, two, one. Right, right onto that belly, right into those supermans. I want you to get a good squeeze at the top of each of those reps. Don't just lift those arms, don't just lift those legs. Do it with intention, do it with purpose. Hold them for three, two, one, and relax. All right, shake that out. Feeling nice and well balanced, aren't we? From the front to the back, let's go. All right, hip drops coming up, 10 seconds. We got two rounds left, okay? About two minutes to go. Get down on those forearms. And let's go for hip drops, 20 seconds. Try to keep that chest again parallel to the ground. Try not to rotate all the way up. All right, we're not doing that. We're looking to keep those shoulders still and just pivot around those hips. So we touch those corner of the hips, right to the ground, two, one, and drop down, alternating supermans. Up and squeeze, up and squeeze. Let's do it. Should really be burning those glutes, getting some of that low back action. All right, strong posterior chain, strong backside, keeps that front side honest and relax. All right, one final one, folks. Last minute of work. Look for those head drops, those supermans. We've got it. End is in sight. Let's do it. Drop down. I'm getting ready. In three, two, one, action. Dropping those hips back and forth last time. Once you really get that good twist, get those obliques powered up, making sure that those abs are staying in control. Don't let gravity win this fight. Keep it up, five seconds. Last three, two, one, drop it down. Superman is right into it last time, folks. Big squeeze. Again, purposeful, having intent in this movement. It's the only way it's gonna work, only way it's gonna improve us, 
is that we help it improve by putting that purpose in and relax. All right, folks. Awesome job today. First abs class. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Got your good ab workout in. We'll be back this afternoon at 2 o'clock for stretch break. Um, great. Great job. See you next time.